Hey Jacko, in this video I'll show you how to make this flashing TikTok title effect that's in two lines. Now let's get digital. So I'll show you how to make this effect in two ways, the easy way and the template way. So the easy way you'll have to go to effects, type in text, put the text onto a timeline. Now what you have to do now is first find the font that you want and type something in. This will be my first line. I will now choose a font, also change the size to what you want, and maybe also adjust the angle. Then you'll want to shorten the clip, and let me just go to a whole second. So now we can go maybe 8 frame forward, shorten this clip, hold Alt, click on it and shrug it, and now we'll change the color, maybe to a yellow one, we could also change the font, maybe to this one, and we could also increase it a little bit. Now select both texts and copy them, and copy and paste basically this as many times as you want. So now we have the flashing text. If you want to have this in two lines, you will simply have to repeat the process. I'll hold Alt and drag the text up. I will now position it down, so just like that, but the text at the bottom has to be yellow, like this one. Now this style can be copied easily to this one, so what I can do is maybe simply adjust the position of this one to this value, so 5, 6, 4. Put this one here, just like that, and like that. Now before I make a bunch of copies of the bottom text, I would need to change what it says. And now if I copy this text, what you'll see is that everything also changed. So you can't copy the text and paste it, you'll have to type it in. So flashing effect. And now you can simply hold ALT and drag the clips over a bunch of times and you have the flashing effect. Now this is good if you don't have to do it multiple times, but it's also annoying if you have to change the text. What do I mean by that? Well I just showed you what happens if you want to copy a text from one text to another one, the styling changes. And it's the same if you just want to change the text. So now, as you can see, I've changed the text, but the styling is also gone. So you'd have to select the titles that have the same styling, just like this, to change just this text, but then you would also have to select the other titles and make the changes again. So you would add maybe the S. So if you need to do this multiple times and also have to change the text, this is not an option. So I'll show you how to make this as a template that you can use in the edit page. So I'll go to the media pool, right click, make a new fusion composition. Once you have it, put it onto a timeline, select it and go into the fusion page. Now in the fusion page, we need a text, type something in, this will be in two lines. So I have the text, two line flashing text effect title. Now we have this done, you will always be able to change the font, the font color and also the size. Now I have the text in two lines and the way I want to be able to change the color to make it flashing is with masking by using a rectangle. In the rectangle I'll set the center position to 0.25 on the y axis and I will set the width to 1 so it fills in the whole screen and once we make this effect it will affect only half of the screen, or half of the text. And we'll achieve that by using the invert checkbox on the rectangle. But let's take it one step at a time. First, let's change the color. We need a background node, and we need the rectangle to mask it out. And we need to somehow merge these together, so we'll use a merge node. So now if I connect the text to the background, 
and display it on the left, the text is all black because the color in the background is black. So if I change it, now this background will have to go into the front, but what will go into the background of the merge one, I'll use another background mode. And in this one, I'll simply lower the alpha. So this is transparent. This will go in the back. And now we simply have to connect this rectangle as a mask. And if I now display this on the left side, we now only see half of the text. And if I go to the rectangle and click on invert, this is what we have. We have half of the effect. And what we need now is the other half of the text that stays white. So I will copy this merge. And now because we don't change the color, the green input will be the text. We also need the background, so this will be in the back. And we also need the rectangle. So this will be the mask. And if I display it on the right, currently it's the same as we have it on the left side, except it's white. And we need to fix it so it shows the opposite text. To achieve that, we'll go to this merge node, go to settings and click apply mask inverted. And if I go to the rectangle and click on invert, you can see that the text changes. So now we have to combine these two merges. I will use another merge node and connect them. And now we can connect this to the media out. And we get the two line flashing effect. At the moment, the only thing that is changing is the color. So we can also go to the merge node. This is the one that has the color applied. And we can also increase the text size. And if I now click on the rectangle and click invert, this text is also bigger and the bottom one is smaller. What we could also do is maybe go to the bottom merge and set the size to maybe 0 0.9. So we can really see the difference. Now this effect is almost done. What I will just add is a transform at the end. Just in case you would want to reposition this somewhere that is not in the center of the screen. And also you can easily rotate it if you so want. I've positioned the notes to make it look a little bit nicer. And what you can also do is hover over a line, hold Alt and click on the line. And you'll get this little section just so you can route the lines a little bit nicer. Now the last thing that we need is the animation. Currently nothing happens. I have to go to the rectangle and click invert manually. But we need to animate this option. So I'll go to the beginning. So frame zero. I will keyframe the value. I will then go to frame, let's say eight. I will also keyframe this value. And then on frame nine, I will select invert. So now at the beginning, nothing happens. Then it will flip and it has to stay flipped for also eight frames. So this will be frame 17. I will keyframe the value and that's pretty much it, I think. I will then go to the spline, select the invert of the rectangle. I can click zoom to fit so I can see all of the key points, select all and click on set loop. I can now hold control. So I do get a nice looking wave. Let's see how the animation looks like. Exactly as we want. And if you want this flashing text to stand out just a little bit more, what you can also do is after this background node, we could add maybe some glow. So let's go with a glow node. You can change how this behaves. And at the end, what we could also do after the merge, we could add some shadow. So let's go with the bottom one. We can adjust the softness. 
and we can also adjust the light distance. And now if you want this to be a template, you can select all of the nodes except the media out, right click, make a macro, and in this case you would need the text. So find the text, go to text, you would enable the style text so you can change it, font, style, and also the color so you can change the base color, maybe change the size and also maybe the line spacing and tracking. You would want the background one because you want to change this color. So select these options. Then you have the glow. In the glow, you can change the glow size and the glow. So select these two options. Then you have the shadow. In the shadow, you can adjust the softness and you can change the color to something else. So it's not just black. You can also adjust the light distance and maybe light position. And lastly, you have the transform. In the transform, the output has to be checked because it's the last node in the composition. And also you want to change the center so you can easily move this text, maybe also the size and the angle. Then go to File, Save as Group, go to Fusion, Templates, Edit, and this will be a title. I'll name it TikTok, two lines. Save it, close it, go into the edit page. If this does not show up in the effects, you will have to restore DaVinci Resolve. In my case, it did show up, so I can simply use it. I can now make all of the changes that I've enabled when making the template. And we can also get an effect like this one if you just use one line. And as you can see, the effect plays automatically. We can now make some changes and adjust the colors, change the font. Now, depending on the font that you choose, this may look a little bit off, so you may need to adjust the line spacing. With the light distance, we won't see anything at the moment because the background is black, but we can adjust the angle the size and the position. And that's how you can make a flashing TikTok-like text effect. And if you found the video helpful, you know what to do. I'm Simon, and until next time, Jacko, keep it digital.